Hi, it's Jocelyn. It's time for The Flash, Season 4, Episode 21. The title of tonight's episode is called Harry and the Harrisons. Well, last week I was sick. I didn't get to do my reaction video for Therefore She Is. Um, but I did see it and overall it was pretty good. So let's go watch tonight's episode and see what the latest development. And I have to say I'm really happy that the thinker's wife, she finally left him. So let's see what happens next. What you need to do is be patient. We're consulting with literally every scientist we know. Why don't you consult with me? Oh, Harry, no, not, not dumb me, the other me's. The council. The council. The council of transmission intriguing satellites. The first, I have a question for you, Harry does. Tell me, Harry, how does your high percentage of thinking count, uh, account for the resonant inductive coupling of the dark matter transfer? Or the, the inductive Oh, I'm not speaking to you, I cannot remember all dates. I'm not. Uh, the little guy, the Moscow Cisco, puts you in a box, you put the box in the pocket. Talking to Harry, a simple question how does it account for the resonant coupling? <laughs> It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> simple Harry is truly <coughs> simple Harry now. But no, that's not what's happening. It doesn't matter. Put it in the box, put the box in the pocket. Put the box in the pocket. This is very simple. What has happened? Your hypothetical thinking of how's my function? <laughs> I left the bears of funds for mythical intellect. A dum dum. That's not what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> Here, Wells, yeah. are you going to help us or not? Not. Why not? The Council of Vats is a council of superior intellects there to accept the challenge of others with superior intellects. It's called the Council of Vats and not the Council of Dandans. Look at this man. I see him. Is he not one of your own? Are you telling me that you're going to betray one of your own because he doesn't meet some? Arbitrary intellectual standard. Oh, so you do understand. Snob. So, unlike your simple friend, here's what you now must consider. I feel the same. That's right. I am a dumb dumb. Oh, hey, you're you not, not a, a dumb dumb. dumb, dumb. dumb. Come on. Let's face facts. I've lost most of my science, lost most of my math. Language will be next, and there's nothing we can do about it. On the contrary, Mont Frere, we're the ones who created that council of ding dongs in the first place, so if they're not going to help us, that leaves us one other option. A new council. A smarter council. A better council. A count we know we need a tech-free projectile to stop to those satellites. We've been looking for an object. But well, what we really need is a person. Aminette. <laughs> Aminette Black. I know she's not the ideal choice, but Aminette's psychic-powered mm -hmm. Alaco shards are not only deadly powerful, they're completely immune to DeVos Kilmore powers. Poor Harry. Oh my gosh, that that one Wells is, I forgot his character, but the one who looks like Andy Warmock is so funny. Tom Cavanaugh is definitely my favorite actor. He truly is. He, he's truly my favorite actor. And he plays so many different characters. He's just so versatile. I just enjoy his work so much. But they call Harry a dum-dum. How sad. How sad. And then Cisco said, well, we're just going to have to find a more intelligent one. And I'm thinking maybe it's the Council of Cisco. That could be a possibility. So I think that's just a fun start to all this. You will. Uh oh. Yeah. No, I mean, I get it. We've never openly shared this kind of information with the city before. Right. And I think you'll be more likely to agree with me if I have a full article ready for them to read. So I'm going to hurry up and finish it. Okay. Thanks. She's like, I'm going to do this. Harry? give to you the emotionally astute Council of Harrison's. Oh! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Those other stiffs, well, they got tired of my connection. <laughs> Making me tardy to their party, so they gave me a boot. Wait, so I'm not the only one? Nuh-uh. All of us been kicked out. <laughs> All of you have been kicked. You got me a council of rejects. Oh, they're brilliant. <laughs> Whoa, we call rejects. Hey, look at this guy. What is the nuts? Oh, 
call myself to introduce myself. Sonny Wells, or 24. At your service. They call me Sonny on account of my Sonny disposition. You know, I think that name kind of works for him. Hey, oh, the guy who must miss this go. Hey. My motto, personally, for me, my motto, be kind. Rewind. Be kind, rewind. VHS. What? Hello. Yes, bonjour. So, I am Harrison H.P. Wells, the Earth Van Sank song. I must say that it warmed me to see ourselves bonded in our faces and our hearts. See a scarf, I like that scarf. When I get myself one of them classy scarves like this guy. That's a ten dollar scarf right there. So anyway, uh, without further ado, it's time for me to commence this meeting with uh, one of my poems. So, I did. I never knew you. I never taste you. Taste. I never smell you. Until I do. And now, I'm hooked. Mmm. Saucy. And, uh, what is this poem about? Bread. No, uh, deep connection. Food. Be the soul. You know, I once had this experience with a hard apple pie. Okay, you know what? That's enough uh, sharing from this side of the table. How about we let somebody else share? Harry, you have the floor. No, too. <laughs> Besides, you know what they say a zebra never changes its stripes. Flash. Oh, Flash. You really do stop all the crime in the city, don't you? Not today. I'm so happy. Wait, boomerang. Nice. I'm not here to fight. We need your help. Okay, getting Eminem Black to work with them is very intriguing. I kind of want to know though, did the thinker even think about this? I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, like, when it comes to the bow, the ways to stop him, are things that are just total curveballs that he wouldn't expect? So, I'm just wondering, you know, is this a curveball? So, the other Harrys, they are so hysterical. We get the Matthew McConaughey, Harry, the sexual kind. <laughs> that's pretty funny. We got one that's, like, from, from New York or Jersey. He's so funny. And, and we have like a French artistic poet. Oh my gosh, they are so funny. I'm telling you, I'm loving Tom. I'm loving Tom so much. This is definitely his episode to shine. And, and I'm just loving Tom. He's just cracking me up. So we work with us. Help us stop the boat. No. That thing. Why do you still have it on? Don't take it off. It helps me protect my identity. <laughs> no, it's doing a terrible job. What? Yes, you see that stoic jawline? Patrician profile. <laughs> you so obviously the speedster I tried to procure from the warden. Make me R.I.P. Oh. Come on. Yeah, she, she knew it. Hello, handsome. Hello. To think I had the flash in my grasp. What a pretty penny I could have gotten for that sale. Eminet? Yes. Focus. How is that any smarter than Devol? Hey, again with Devol. Why are you so hung up on his mama Luch? Uh, I think that Devol for you is this is a guy that has a uh, well, he's like a leech upon you. Sucking and sucking and sucking and sucking and sucking and all you are left with. Is thou? I like that. Nature, red tooth and claw. You know they say to understand a man's actions, you gotta understand his heart. Oh, oh, okay, question: How do you understand the heart of a deranged maniac? Now, the guy who must be Cisco makes a good point here. Let's all close our eyes and take a moment to imagine that we are all sociopaths trying to conquer the world. <coughs> oh, yeah. What? Put yourself in the room shoes. Close your eyes, Harry. <laughs> now what do you see? You smell. 
How do you fade? Dumb. Dumb. This is not making me any smarter. But aren't you smarter, Harry? You must channel your aggression into love. I feel you're mocking me. Oh, an I feel statement. Winner, winner. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right. Progress on that note. Wait, wait. We're not we're done here, are we? No, no, no we're not. Yeah, we're done. If Novak thinks he can steal from me and get away with it, he's got another thing coming. I can't believe this is happening. The satellite's not picking up any of your Alnico metal anywhere in the city. Novak may be a moron, but he's not stupid enough to keep the stash out in the open. Kaylin. Is this about her stolen shards or her tech? I oh, called you out. The internet has slicer technology that she used to split Killer Frost last year. I was hoping to use it again to get Killer Frost to come out, but it was hidden with her metal shards in the storage container. Well, why would you tell us that? Because I made Amunet a deal. If she helped me, Killer Frost would do another job for her. That splicer tech isn't your only hope. Yes, it is, Joe. I have tried everything that I can think of to get Killer Frost to appear, and that was my last shot. So, no, she's gone for good. Okay, go to the hallway. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been concerned for other people's feelings, though, you know? You know what? Maybe it is time I consider someone else's feelings. <laughs> well, I feel a devote, right? Maybe the council had a point. And the best way for me to understand it all. Put myself in his shoes. Yeah. Is that what you were gonna say? No, I was gonna say Devo, right? Okay. That's that makes sense. It does. Yeah. <laughs> his entire goal is to take information away from people. If we don't publish this article, we are no better than he is. I just this is I think it's too risky. I know that's how you feel. And I really want us to be on the same page. So, it's your decision. That slicer did not kill you. What? Well, you, you come to me so broken, so needy, and so I put that piece of tech on your head and nothing. It did not work on you. So you decided to lie to me rather than tell me that? Mm. But just because the spice didn't technically work doesn't mean that the results were not the same. How? That doesn't make any sense. You're the doctor. You tell me. It's a placebo. You see? It's been inside you the entire time. Katie, your power is unlike anything I have ever seen before and no science kit or placebo is going to explain why you... A fake? What are you talking about? I know exactly where Novak is. So I think it's really interesting this type of relationship with Amunet Black and Caitlyn. Is it like a... I don't know. I don't know if I want to say it's a mother-daughter relationship or a big sister, like sister-to-sister -sister relationship. But it's very interesting. I mean, this was a woman who, who had her under her grasp, make, doing, uh, forcing her to do her jobs for her. And so now, you know, um, there's this connection between the two. But yet it's interesting because, yeah, you know, she had this placebo effect on Killer Frost, Caitlyn. And so Caitlyn was able to control it. So then um, maybe that's what, you know, that's what it is. It's just she's got to be able to, like, find that piece of her again in order for it to come out. I did like Iris as far as telling Barry, you know what, the whole mission of Devo is to take away information from the people and it's, it should be our job to give as much information. So I also like that too. I mean, it's a very good reasoning as far as why Iris is very passionate about that, about putting it out. And then I think in the end, Barry is going to be able to then put it out there. So I think that'd be cool. And then Harry. So Harry, it's interesting. He has more of a feel. He softened up. I think with this whole experience is that, you know, if you think with your heart, you'll be able to think with your mind. So I think that was a key 
component there, that n little nugget that I got from that other wells that I think is going to then affect Harry. Uh, but it looked like Cisco was, was looking for some love <laughs> from Harry. And again, with these types of relationships with Amunet Black and Caitlyn, you know, they, they, they have a love-hate relationship. And then there's Harry and Cisco about the same. So it's, it's kind of cool with these two, how they're, you know, there's a par always a parallel to these characters. Okay. Skills off. No shards belong to Amunet. Well, if that decrepit hag didn't want them stolen, she shouldn't have told me where she hid them. Decrepit? That's a big word for such a small man. Amunet, I've got this. There are some things that a woman just cannot delegate. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. We agreed, no killing. That'll make this next part easy. Oh, here comes that gross. Ew, I can't even. It's just disgusting. Snap it. Is that is as long as it goes? That's disgusting. Oh! What the hell is that? Nice shot, Joe. Nice shot. Oh, poison. Barry, what's going on? Your vitals are going through the roof. Stand up. I'm on it. You are just as vile as that Oh, he's taking all of them. It's been a while to get this made. Now you can't use those things against me anymore. You always underestimated me. Let it out. Oh my god, that's like homage to season one of The Flash. I've never understood your superpower. Are you a man with a snake or a snake with a man? Oh no, there's poison, right? But the snake has got to go. Oh! <laughs> like Norvok, I must be on my way. Amino! Hey! You leave, there's no way we can stop the most satellites. She was never gonna help us. She just wanted her medal. Uh, truthfully, I, I did consider it. I did. But uh, good play knows when to fold. And the professor certainly has a better hand, so. Don't try to stop me. <laughs> Control. I am packing. There's nowhere you can go that those satellites won't reach you. If you leave now, you'll be my relative just like the rest of us. Good point. Just for the record, this is not me helping. It is entirely self-preservation. Filled with shrapnel and bound with my metahuman genesequa. Pull a shard, throw it. It will deliver one savage concussive blow. But you only get one shot. I know you won't waste it. Go save the world, my darling. <laughs> so, thanks to Ramon and the Council of Harrisons, you may have an idea about why the boy has not yet launched his satellites. He put himself into those shoes. And I thought, well, if I was this older genius, Move around in a floating chair. How would I feel? You'd feel nothing. You'd be sociopathic. Mm. Right, but to me, I wouldn't consider myself sociopathic. Right now, all my actions would be driven by the one thing that I care most about. Right? And so if you're not acting. If I'm not acting, then I don't have the one thing that I care most about. His wife. My wife. Because you need, need me to walk you through this, so this is how we get in here. It's kind of 
kind of complicated, but okay, I'll take you at your word. Actually, that took a lot. I mean, I'm gonna go have a nap. Oh. Well, we can work with that idea. Yeah, I will fire up the satellite and see if I can find my ladies. And I'll start figuring out how to launch this psychic dark matter infused metal shrapnel bomb. <laughs> no big deal. Paris, what's happening? Mary? Where? It's the city. What? I posted my article and they're responding. What do you mean? They believed you? More than that. They want to help. Look. <sighs> this guy says he saw the on 5th and Knoll two days ago. Yeah, and another guy on Crescent and 10th. This is great. Iris, this means to go get eye from us anymore. This is Eliza Tyler. Catch an all new episode. Um, you know, overall with Amunet, I you know, we shouldn't be surprised. She was just gonna be looking out for herself, but she did leave them that one thing. Caitlin, she's gonna have to find that different angle to access Killer Frost. Harry is so cute. Just his simplistic way. What are you saying? How come he's not acting well with those faces? You know, happy something's missing equals sad and it's like because his wife is not around that's why he's not acting so it's gonna be interesting as far as um you know how they find her but i also think that was pretty clever you know despite all of harry's it's like it's just even if he's so simplistic he's still got something that the team can work with and i just have to sympathize he's like okay um i gotta go rest now i gotta go take a nap it's like oh poor harry poor harry Okay, and then, you know, with Barry and Iris and Barry supporting her, it's like, okay, they're going to tell the city and it looks like the city is responding and that they actually have a sighting. So this is good. So I guess it is a positive thing. So now on to predictions. I want to get on to my predictions. Um, kind of predicting, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of predicting now that in the next episode, you know, we see that DeVoe is out on the streets. He, the enlightenment is, I think they said in 12 hours or so. Huh. Do you really think that, in, well, here's the deal. I think the enlightenment is going to be very close to happening. And maybe it's going to be happening just maybe at the surface level, but then something's going to destroy it where then it's like knocked out completely. And I think where that comes into his place, uh, into play is with Marlise. I think Marlise at the very end is going to sabotage the, the different equipment. And so, because she's a mechanic, she knows how to engineer all this and how to like take it apart. That I think he doesn't know what she's capable of, and so I think that's what's gonna happen. Um, I think that's how you know he's gonna be betrayed, and and there's that. Um, so I'm this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking in the next episode, there's gonna be a showdown of the Enlightenment. And then there's going to be a fallout from that. And in the very last episode, there's got to be some sort of battle with Devo as far as getting those other metas out and, and to uh, remove his powers, if that's possible. I don't know. Did anyone hear any article? I mean, are we going to get to see Ralph again or is he completely gone? I'm not quite sure, but I'd like to see that. And, you know, getting Harry's intelligence back. So I think with the very last episode, there's going to have to be a lot of closure. There's definitely going to be some, um, you know, some high. I think we're going to deal with the bow. Oh, I, here's another prediction. I also think that the enlightenment is going to go sour because of Marlies and that the bow is then going to become, you know, more of a, have more of a, a, a maniac episode where he becomes maybe psychotic and that uh you know he he then maybe unleashes himself on on the people and the way of revenge that could also be possible um thinking i'm thinking that's what's going to happen which then leads then to the finale between the flash and devo so i think that's where the ultimate showdown is will be at the very end Huh. And I, I'm wondering, you know, we're going to have to get some sort of resolve as far as like, how do they get those body backs? And of course, second to the last episode, those two episodes, probably the last one, we're finally going to understand who is the mystery girl. She's obviously a speedster. So who is she and how does that set up with season five? 
I'm thinking, you know, some people are like, oh, it could be Godspeed in, in season five. So that'd be cool. Augusta, um, no, August something, right? I forgot what his last name is. But uh, that'd be interesting. And then what, what truly is her story? And of course, I think we have to remember the prediction is Cecile will have her baby. So, you know, we're going to have to close it up within, the, did they say only two episodes left? They did. So that's what my predictions are for the last two. I'm hoping, you know, with the season, they're going to give us a really strong, compelling ending. That's what I would like to see. And, um, you know, setting us up for season five. So that's my uh, reaction and review for The Flash tonight. Okay, so with a shout out, again, I want to thank the people who left comments. Okay. So, a shout out time. I just want to say hi and thank you so much to Flashy Ice, Barry Allen, Joe Masters, and Chalala Chitwepa. Nice to meet you. Okay. Well, you know what? Follow me on Instagram or, or Facebook. Watch Jocelyn RP channel. I have my daily vlogs or postings, maybe some other thoughts that I may have. And uh, subscribe to my channel. So, please write a comment and I will see you next time. Bye.